Welcome back. I get a my CP for helping the needy out there or the less privileged out there. And we had them in the studio last week and they said they were going to feed 500 kids. So we decided to follow them and see if they really did feed 500 kids. But guess what? They ended up feeding over 1,000 children. That is how much need out there and what are we also doing to support those out there who are in need we need to all join hands and do this this show is proudly brought to you by gtp gtp is timeless it's limitless and of course it's ageless when you get gtp and you sew it you look so beautiful and you will look exquisite gtp timeless now if you're about to break your fast the best food to get is coco king now go to their stand and just tell them what you wish to eat for that day they have variety of breakfast so whether you like a quick baby or tom brown or whatever your choice is just go to them and they have it for you now today's thursday and tomorrow is friday don't forget to order your wachi or your jollof which will be served for you so it's supposed to be delivered between the hours of 6 a.m to 11 a.m just go to them and they have it for you now order it now and it will be delivered the delivery cost just 10 Ghana cities. Yes, 10 Ghana cities per now per day. So call them and they'll deliver it to you tomorrow. Now it's only delivery services are only for Fridays, 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. Also, guess what? Now High Sense is back. Almost your mother be more high sense of baby. So for this Easter, High Sense is given heavy discounts on their refrigerators, their chest freezers, and also their rice cookers. If you need all these, even if you don't need it, you never know because appliances break down all the time. Just go to High Sense or contact them because because they've discounted it for you just this Easter. Now, this is the number you have to contact them on. It's 0302-550000. Easy, right? 0302-550000. But don't forget that terms and conditions do apply. So, I have with me the Give Me Hope Foundation crew. And I have with me the CEO who is Wisdom Dojo. He's a banker. He's a founder of Give Me Hope Foundation. And also Gloria Amegacha. She is the vice president of Give Me Hope Foundation. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, right. The last time we heard your story and why you decided to help people out there. Now you went out there and you fed 500. You were supposed to feed 500, but you fed more. Tell us how it went. Um, the program was scheduled to be on... 20th April, it came up live. We went there in our numbers. We were expected to feed 500. But when we got there, the crowd that got, came around was almost over 1,000. So we have to end up sharing some of the drink and take some of the drink out of the food and manage them. So we share a lot of cooling. The medical screening, there were a lot of the team on site, almost 30 people are on the site to do medical screening. And that was a very good job they've done. The screening was intensive and a lot of lives were touched through that. Uh, we noticed that a lot of children in the community too are not in school. Some of them may be orphaned but didn't get a chance to be in orphanage homes. Mm -hmm. But we decided to register them and see how best we can take these children back to school. Right. So one twenty children has been registered. One hundred and twenty children, children have been registered to go back to school. So the plan is uh, we'll meet them, get their uniform, get the necessary support we can then we take them back to school. Gloria, how do you plan to achieve this? 120 children. Well, with this 120 children, we can't really do it all by ourselves. So we're calling on the general public, philanthropists, to come on board to support us to take these children back to school. Currently, we already have 50 children who are already in school, which we are supporting. So the general public support will be very much appreciated if they will come on board to support us. Do you know the age this. range of these children? Right, so they are between 6 years and 15 years. And some may have dropped out of school and some might not have gone to school at all. So we have 120 as we speak now. And we're now planning on how best we could take them back to school. Wow. Yes. So what's next with Give Me Hope Foundation? We are taking children to school. We fed almost 1,000 children. And what's next? Okay, so we, we have an empower, educational empowerment program, yeah. which we are about to, to start on. So this program is meant for the ongoing school children. So we get people who have story to tell, who have the voice to, to empower these young ones, organize, we go to schools, we get them together, then we have, we empower them to let them know that all oh, is not a lot. It's better all that they are going through. So um, sometimes we go, we have to share some freebies, we get exercise book and masset. We have um, menstrual hygiene education, which we do. So this young one, we try to share them women's sanitaries. 
so that to let them know that at least in, in the institution they are, there's people there who can support them. We we'll get people who have the knowledge in that field, we we'll get them together, they educate them, then we we'll empower them more. Because these are the future. Exactly. These are the, our future. So we need to make sure that we, we help them grow. Right. Laura, how many people did you health screen that day? Um, that day we had about 450 people coming to our site. Uh, we screened them for hepatitis, HIV. And with the hepatitis and HIV, they did it voluntarily. And we are happy that none was ha um, positive, which was that really good. Yeah, it was good. It was really, really encouraging. Yeah. When we saw it, we were like, oh, that's cool. But only a few people came, actually. But we also screened for malaria. We screened for hepatitis. We screened for um, glucose level, checking whether they are diabetic. And we also screened for their hemoglobin level, whether they are anemic. Just a few people were anemic. We referred them to the doctor. We gave them some medication. And then they will be managed afterwards. And so you did have some doing. assistance from doctors who were yes, also yes, abroad. Yes, yes. So aside our own group, we had um, doctors and nurses coming from um, Rose Clinic and they were really supportive. We really appreciate their help. And we also had um, support or the logistics that we used for the screening was donated by um, Greenland Medical Supplies. And we are very grateful to Greenland Medical Supplies as well as Sacro Medical Supplies. We thank them all. And we also got um, the HIV kits from SG Health Services. And from all the way from WA, which was really encouraging. So we thank all our donors, our, our supporters, family and friends who donated in cash and in kind. We are truly grateful for helping our program to be a success. So how do we join Give Me Hope Foundation to support people out there? Because I know there are a lot of people out there who said, I want to be part of it. Yes. And how do they become a part of Give Me Hope Foundation? It does not take anything. The order we need is the heart. You have the, the heart for the less privileged. You come and join us. Every month we do that contribution, because monthly dues by members. We believe even if four of us come together with a little, it can take a child to school. So the little will contribute together every month. We make sure that a child go to school because of us. And we have a lot of um, child abuse cases, defamation cases that come to us. So we need um, legal assistance legal legal system for them. Right. Lawyers that want to do some uh, pro bono for NGOs, we call on them. To right. So is there a contact number we can put out there for people who want to be part of it? Yes. Yeah, I can be called on 244 Right. 0244 Let's all join this great cause. Let's be part of Give Me Hope Foundation. I've been speaking to Wisdom Dejo, who is a banker, and he's the founder of Give Me Hope Foundation, and Gloria Megacha, who is a, the vice president of Give Me Hope Foundation.